Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you've probably seen from the title, this will be a different video from what I usually post. This will be an unboxing and reviewing of the XP Pen Innovator 16. Here it is, the big boy. <laughs> I've always wanted a tablet like this. This is like my child dreams come true. There was like a sale last week on the XP Pen website and I got this one for 400 euros. It's still a big investment. I'm very lucky to be able to afford this one. Comparing to the iPad that I bought, this was cheaper than the iPad, even though I got the cheapest one. Let's open this one. I'm so excited to open this box and try it out so let's go okay so let's open it this reminds me of apple products where the opening of the box is super slow okay oh my god it's so big i'm glad i didn't bought the 22 inches because this one is already so so big here is the tablet we'll open it in a little bit we have the power cable i'm going to use this one because this one it's the european one and what we use in portugal like this and we have the stand over here this one it's not movable like it's static so when you open it it doesn't go much more than this you'll have to stay in the same position what we have here thank you for supporting and we have a glove i'm not sure if i'm going to use this one oh, i don't know how to put it this well put no, I think this is backwards. Like this, it's nice that they put it in the box, but I'll give it a try just to see the difference. We have a nice cleaning cloth over here in a very nice baby blue. Cables! This is a USB and then you have the all-in-one cable. And this is the famous cylinder <laughs> with the pen. And here it is. Oh my god, it's so light. The design is so nice, really like it. And I think over here we have the replacement nibs. I think there are eight replacement nibs. And now let's open this one. Oh, it's so shiny and now you can see my shin. Okay, so it says here that I have to take the protective thing. Let's see. This looks so, so cool. This is so big. I'm used to my iPad. Let me grab my iPad to show you the difference in sizes. And this is the screen that I draw now. The screen only comes from here to here but still it's a big difference it has two wheels like one like this this is one is touch and this one goes like this and then you have all these buttons of course i know this because i watched a lot and lots and lots of reviews it's just so so slim it looks so nice and slim it looks very well done yeah Let's just plug it in the computer and try it out. So the setup of the tablet was a little harder than I was expecting. I couldn't quite figure out uh, where the cables were going. And basically my computer only has one HDMI port and I was using it for my monitor. So I had to switch my monitor to the VGA port so that I could connect the tablet to the HDMI and all the other stuff basically. And it took a long, long time. Then and I had to install the drivers and I spent a long long time setting up everything like the buttons you can adjust the pen pressure of the pen. I always have it like in a lower setting because I use a lot of strength well while I'm drawing so I had to set it up like this and then you can also set up like the buttons on the side of your pen. You can set up different things for it just so it's easier to use. And 
You can also set up all the buttons that you have available on your tablet. You can set up all the eight uh, shortcut buttons and also the dials. Uh, basically, I just set it up for the shortcuts I use the most on Photoshop, like Ctrl Z or Ctrl Alt Z, or just changing from pencil to rubber, basically. And this is how it looks after it's mounted. Here are the shortcuts that I mentioned before um, and the dials. I have it in zoom and just for going around the page. The tablet is slim and well made and I really like like the old design and how it looks on my work table. This is the on and off button and the other ones are just to control the brightness of your screen. It also took me a long long time just to try out brushes because as you know I use Procreate on the iPad and already have all the brushes uh, with the settings that I want and how I like to use them so I took a while just to try different brushes and try different settings for those brushes to, so that I can use them in the future a lot easier. let's talk about the pen. I'm really enjoying the pen as you as I said before it, I really like the design and I love how light it is and that it's not very thin. It's very easy to control and very easy to to manage very intuitive and basically just easy to use and I really love that. You can control very easily like the opacity with the pen pressure. If you press less, it goes light. And if you press a little more, it goes darker. And you can also use the 60 degrees tilt to add more textures if you like the, to use that, that kinds of settings with the brushes. The tips are very very nice, it's not like that kind of pencils, like the tips are a little looser and it comes with 8 replacement tips so you don't have to worry about that for a long time. You can just save the pen inside the box like this or just use the tip of the box just to hold it uh, in place in your table. The one thing that might be um, a con for me in the pen, like I'm very, uh, I'm getting used to it very easily and I'm really enjoying it, uh, enjoying using it and everything and it's very very comfortable to draw with it for long periods of time and that's not a thing with the Apple Pencil, at least for me, because it's very heavy and very thin, so this one it's super super comfortable. The one thing I I don't like it's that you can press like the buttons on the side very easily. It's very, it's <laughs> kind of annoying when you're drawing and you press it without wanting to. But other than that, I'm really, really enjoying working with it um, and it's doing a great job. I'm super surprised with like the um, pen pressure sensi sensitivity and how easy you can control it and that you can draw very straight lines without using the smoothing tool on Photoshop. So other than that, I'm very happy with it. It's just an annoying thing that I basically just need to get used to it, basically. As you can see from here, it's very easy to control like the opacity with the pen pressure and that's a big thing for me because I use transparency a lot on my work, so I'm very very happy with it. 
and a lot like the iPad you can you draw exactly where the pen sits on the screen there's no lag or anything that for me that's also super important and I was super happy with it as well I also wanted to talk about the stand. I was very worried that it's a static um, stand that you can choose like the levels of inclination, but the inclination that it has, it's very comfortable and it really secures the tablet super, super well. So I'm happy with it and um, it's more than enough. I've been using this tablet for almost a month now and I gotta say I'm super super happy with it especially considering the price. I'm still getting used to Photoshop but the tablet for me it's perfect and I'm super super happy that I got it and I can wait to try it more and explore it more and do some more art pieces with it. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so, so excited to try even more of the tablets. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel um, and hitting the bell button so that you receive a notification every time I post a video. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.